Hey plant friends, welcome back to the Bloom and Grow YouTube show. Bloom and Grow YouTube show. Okay, so I am staying in Chicago with a friend for three weeks. He has the most amazing apartment, plant friends, floor to ceiling windows, all of this gorgeous, modern, clean lines, and no plants. So Rob, who is wonderful and a really old friend, ladies, he's single if you're interested, is the best. He travels a lot for work, so he doesn't have any plants in his space right now. So as a thank you gift for letting me stay with him, I am going to give him a plant makeover. So what I'm thinking is he travels for work, he's in and out, he's going to be a laid back plant parent. So I want to just get a couple of plants that are going to suit his space that are just going to kind of elevate it and bring some life to his home without overwhelming him. So I'm thinking like no more than four or five plants. Here's what, here are my thoughts. So like, we're just going to stick to the living space because I don't want to overwhelm him. Um, he's got this beautiful kitchen living room. I'll show you the kitchen in a minute. So what I'm thinking is he's got this amazing little, um, TV console. He does, he wanted me to point out, he does have a picture of a redwood, which is a plant. And Rob, you're absolutely right. So what I'm thinking is I'd love to do some sort of pothos or philodendron that's like a trailing plant um, here because I, I just love a trailing moment on some sort of shelf. Then because we've got this bookshelf, I'm thinking Sansevieria, which are my favorite plant, snake plant, or otherwise known as mother-in-law's tongue. I want to anchor the bookshelf with two snake plants. Then he wants something for his little kitchen counter right now. I've just spruced it up with some sunflowers and basil, but that basil is going to be gone because I make a lot of pesto in the summer. So I showed him some pictures of Pachira Aquatica money tree and he's into that. So I'm going to see if I can secure those plants. Hopefully Plants by Post is going to work with us on this. And that's my plant. So just a few little hearty, drought tolerant, easy to care for plants to liven up his space. Right now I am going to go to Sprout Home Chicago. Um, I've heard that they have a really awesome pot selection. I'm gonna go find some pots, maybe find the trailing philodendron, and we will be off to the races. So I'll see you soon, plant friends. Stay tuned. Thanks for coming on the journey with me. Okay. So I'm back from shopping. Sprout Home in Chicago is amazing, plant friends. If you're, in, if you're in Chicago, you gotta go. So first I went to Lowe's because I needed to get um, a painting, uh, what is this called? Plastic drop cloths when I do the repotting. So I got that and then I did find this beautiful little uh, marble pothos which is gonna go on the bookshelf. So we've got that done. Then at Sprout Home, I found the pots. So what I'm thinking is the two, um, the two Sansevieria in the bookshelf are going to go in terracotta, really simple terracotta. I think it's going to bring out the colors of the wood in the bookshelf and look really pretty. And then, so we got some terracottas. I always buy an extra one in case I break them. And then we got some really sexy stones. So this is marble with little hints of black and a little bit of pink. So I thought for the plant that we end up getting him, look at this sexy stone. I can give you, look at that. So this is really pretty. It's kind of stone-like. I think it's gonna pick up the marble, the like threading in the marble really beautifully. So that will live here and complement these two lights. And then I think I'm, I bought a matching one to go with the pothos on the TV console. I also, these pots don't have drainage, so I asked Sprout Home to give me um, little uh, nursery pots. So what I'm gonna do is pot up the plant that they send me in a nursery pot and slip it in the pots with no drainage. So he'll easily be able to bottom water or just water it not be worried about suffering from root rot. Okay, this project is blooming and growing. I can't wait till the plants arrive. Stay tuned. Okay, so portion two of this really fun home makeover. I'm repping my Bloom and Grow plant friends apparel today with my 
tank top, my plant lady tank top. It's super hot here in Chicago. So I'm so excited that Plants by Post, I wrote my friends at Plants by Post, which is an awesome online um, marketplace for plants. They're an amazing grower in California. They ship plants really well. They've shipped plants to me before. So I wrote them about the project and they sent me so much plant mail. So I figured we'd do a little bit of an unboxing for you with the plants. As I had said, we're looking for low light tolerant, drought tolerant, easy to care plants for my friend Rob's apartment. So let's begin. I love the way they ship their plants. It's this big box that has four little dividers in it. Um, I'll do a close up for you later. And then you get the thing shipped like this. So they're so sturdy, like their plants aren't gonna move at all, which I really appreciate. So I'm so excited, Sansevieria zelanica. Um, I just love, this is my favorite type of snake plant. Um, I have several of them. I just, I just, look at that man, so beautiful. So these are gonna go next to the bookshelf. So they sent me several of these, which I'm really excited about. And then we're gonna do a money tree, a Pachira aquatica in between these um, uh, beautiful lights. So they sent me two versions. So apparently this is a dwarf money tree which is so cute, and then there's the tall one in here, so. So, we've got a bunch of snake plants. And then look at this happy guy. He's awesome, I think he's gonna be perfect. He actually has some new growth. I'm so excited to pot him up. So, I guess I'll put this stuff back. Oh my God, they're getting so much dirt over Rob's really nice apartment. About his apartment is so nice and clean and so opposite of the way I live. Um, oh, I want to do this last because they actually sent me a special treat that I want to share. All right, so this whole thing is more snake plants, so I'm gonna unbox these really quickly. to bring a close up because I was talking with Sammy from Plants by Post and she sent me some photos of stuff they were growing and I have wanted this plant for a really long time and I saw it and I said oh you know if you wanted to just like throw one of them you know in the package I'll take this one home and she said four <laughs> so as we know I love Sansevieria oh that's so much dirt she sent Look at this, Sansevieria Moonshine. It's so beautiful and I'm so excited to bring it home. But they sent four, so I'm gonna give Rob two and then I'm gonna keep two. <laughs> okay, so all the plants are unboxed. There's so much dirt in Rob's very clean apartment, so I am going to sign off and do some really intense cleaning. He has a Roomba, so I think I'm gonna try the Roomba. Um, my next game plan is I'm gonna actually put these plants, I'm not gonna pop them up immediately, I'm gonna put these plants where I um, envision them in the apartment and I'm gonna let them adjust to the apartment and just getting out of the boxes for a few days and then I'm gonna pot everything up. So, until then, plant friends. Okay, so, um, all of the plants have had a few days to chill and acclimate and adjust to their new home. So now I'm gonna put them in their new pot homes. Um, so as you can see, I've kind of laid out, so with these pots that don't have any drainage, I actually asked the plant shop to find nursery pots that fit these pots kind of exactly. Um, so we cut those to fit that. I am going to pot all the plants in the nursery pot and then stick the nursery pot on top of some gravel in the cash pot. That way when he wants to water the plants, he can either water in here, but if he wants to, since he's a new plant parent, he could take the plant out of the pot, give it a rinse in the sink, let the water drip down like you should. Um, that's what I always recommend for new plant parents, always get pots with drainage, so this is a good hack. So I have these plants to get planted up, potted up here. Then I have my terracotta over here, and most importantly, I have oh boy, the biggest bag of 
potting soil you ever did see. I love Espoma Organics. Um, they're like a family owned company. Um, they're awesome. They make all organic potting soil and fertilizer. So I'm gonna be using this bad boy to get this started. up I've given them a really good pack of soil you want to make sure that you pack the soil in to support their roots so they get a nice comfy new home now I'm going to take turns putting the plants in the sink giving them a really good drink until water drips down the bottom I'm gonna let the soil settle and then I might put a little bit more soil on top either today or tomorrow and give them another water so they've got nice homes also, fun tip for those of you who might have only indoor apartments and you need a potting place. I love the RT1 home potting tarp uh, that I have in New York, but since I'm in Chicago, I just went to Lowe's and got like a $1 drop cloth for painting and set it up on the table before I started. I will say that putting, laying out a nice plastic tarp makes you feel a little bit like a serial killer, but it's all good. <laughs> friends well that has been my little home makeover for Rob I'm so happy with how it turned out and it's had me thinking you know I'm so used to living with like 120 plants in my apartment now in much less space than what he has that I think I've like taken for granted the like subtle life that plants do bring to a space and I think the opportunity to be living in this space with no plants and seeing you know these are nine plants like these uh, none of these plants were expensive none of these were hard to find most the pots were mostly terracotta it's an affordable start kind of for anyone the maintenance on these guys isn't gonna be too bad I think they're gonna bring Rob a lot of joy and I'm so happy to have done it so maybe you guys in your life know someone who needs some plants and I hope you you help them too but make sure that you take their plant parent personalities in to consideration because that was a huge part of me making sure that these plants fit Rob's lifestyle and his face. Okay, until next time, plant friends, keep blooming and keep growing. Hey, plant friends. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe below. Also, check out my podcast, Bloom and Grow Radio, with houseplant care tips and really interesting interviews with plant people all over the world. And follow me on Instagram. All of the links are in the show description below. Keep blooming and keep growing. Doom do 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 do